the distribution of rice to the poor family in Kampung Bampingan District Number 51, Yogyakarta, given by the non-government organization of Hunger Incorporation, went chaotic. Hunger Incorporation, a private organization that concerned about poor urban people and their lack of access to food according to economic condition today, is given a social service of free rice distribution in order as their role for caring the poor community. They started the event in orderly and go in a good manner, but this condition wasn't last for long. The conflict was triggered by several people, who doesn't hold coupon, which tried to break through the line during the distribution process. The situation angered the people with coupon who had been queuing up for a long time, which worried that the rice supply will run out before reach their turn. Before, the Organization of Hunger Incorporation had to manage a survey toward the community of Kampung Gampingan who lives in Liveram. They tried to categorize based on field situation. Then, 25 families were chosen as the receiver of free rice. Each of the families would receive 15 kilograms of rice, but according to local people, there were more than that amount of poor people. The clamor was also caused by the bad quality of the rice, such as dull colored grains with rice weevil all over. The people became disappointed because of this and they protested to the Hunger Incorporation staff, threatened that they would boycott this event. The distribution of rice for the people in district number 51 of Gambingan Village, Yogyakarta, was conducted as a charity event and as a form of concern toward the poor people who resides around Jogja National Museum. Despite being guarded and permitted by the nearby police, the chaos still occurred. However, this condition did not cause any injuries or fatalities due to the steadiness of the police. The organization which using the slogan of Together Against the Poverty and Famines seems not serious and unprofessional to handle this situation. In addition, the leader of this NGO was gone and did not able to be interviewed. From Jogja National Museum, Yogyakarta, Ayas Laras reports.